Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rita. So for today, we're going to be doing the second part of the eyeshadow tag that was started by Samantha March and Ali Glines. So they released this video around three weeks ago, but I've been seeing a lot of the people that I watch uh, also do it. So I thought might as well just do the second part. I do have the part one. I will leave it uh, linked down below in case you're interested in watching that. I will also leave linked down below Samantha's and Ali's videos as well as my favorite that I've watched. Uh, so this was, I think last year is whenever they did this tag. And this is kind of like the second part with new questions all about my eyeshadow palette. That's basically what the tag is about. I do have quite a collection. Of course, I don't have as many as probably they have, but for my own personal use, I think I have more than enough. And talking about them and swatching them and looking at them, it's always such a fun time for me. So I did uh, pick up all of these eyeshadows. I have them like laying down in front of me here or to the side. And um, yeah, I was a little... I don't know. I didn't exactly know the answer of a couple of this, but I kind of tried to make it work. But anyway, before we get into the video, I would really appreciate it if you decide to subscribe. All you need to do is hit the little red button that says subscribe. That way you won't miss any of my upcoming. The very first question was probably the easiest for me to pick because it is going to be my all time favorite palette. So that was a very easy pick because since I bought this palette, as soon as I used it, I was like, oh my goodness, this is the best palette and my favorite that I've ever tried. And to this day, it's still my very favorite and I doubt anything would ever come close to this being my top favorite. So we're talking about Exaggerize by Charlotte Tilbury. This is just a very simple, very neutral palette, but at the same time, it is so beautiful. This eyeshadow just makes all the difference. It's just a beautiful palette overall and this is... The palette that if for whatever reason it went away in my collection i would actually need to go buy and repurchase surprisingly by how old this palette is it uh, joined my collection not so long ago and i am so upset that i never picked it up earlier because it is just a dream and i really really love it as my number one without a doubt favorite eyeshadow palette so the second category is going to be your new favorite palette so one of my newest additions and has what rapidly become a favorite of mine is going to be a mini one from Natasha Denona. This one is the mini nude and I just realized that I used it so so much. I just kept going back to this little palette. It's such a classic. Also as you can probably tell there's like a very obvious loving of warm neutrals this is just a beautiful palette i feel like you can go very easy from day to night you can smoke out a beautiful bronzy neutral shadow it's just such a beauty and i'm very very happy that i got it another one that i didn't buy as soon as it was released i think i got this probably around october or november i can't remember but it's fairly new in my collection but also like the exaggerized whenever i tried it try this I was like wow this is this is a favorite for sure the next one was also a very easy pick because this was uh, the one that I keep for the memories that it's no longer available so I have to say that this palette is no longer available or it's never been available because it was like a custom palette that I did myself as you if you don't know I don't really talk about any more makeup nor buy any more makeup that's not cruelty free my channel is just cruelty free it's gonna be around one year that I switched, going to a year. So this palette, I'm gonna mention it just because it is the palette that I will never get rid of because of the memories. Because this palette is the one that I used on my wedding day. I did my own makeup and this was my pick for my wedding makeup. So I'm talking about the MAC uh, custom palette. So I did all of the shadows myself. So I got them, I gathered them and I got exactly what I wanted. So you can also probably tell very warm, very everyday, beautiful neutrals. I'm not going to talk much about it because once again, this is not cruelty free. So I don't showcase any more cruelty, non cruelty free makeup in my channel. But that will be the one that I would pick as my keeping for the memories because it is always going to keep a very special place in my heart. Next category is going to be the underrated palette in your collection. So this is for sure an underrated palette. I feel like for the quality and the brand, it should have gotten so much more buzz and I feel like people should still talk about this palette even though no one talks about it anymore. So this is going to be another one from Charlotte Tilbury. You'll probably see that I have a lot of Charlotte Tilbury to talk about, but that's just part of my collection. This is the Desert Haze. 
So this is the full matte palette that she ever released. Like this is the only time I'm lying. I think she did have one before of this, but it wasn't as good as of quality. This is her reformulated uh, uh, shadows and these are just beautiful, super blendable. It's a full matte palette. So I feel like most people really love and use on their everyday matte eyeshadows. So for that reason, I feel like this didn't get as much buzz as it should have because the mattes are just so beautiful, so soft, so blendable, and I just never hear anyone talk about it. So yeah, this is gonna be my underrated palette. For this next category, this is going to be one that's not a favorite, but I can get rid of. And surprisingly, we have Charlotte Tilbury once again. This one is in the shade Star, I'm sorry, Eyes of a Star. So this is her Hollywood Flawless uh, Eye Filter. So this was released, I believe, early last year, if I'm not mistaken. So this is one palette that I like, but it I didn't love, which is kind of surprising for it to be Charlotte Tilbury and my love for the brand. It's just an okay palette. I just feel like it had much more potential with the whole um, eye filter, like the Hollywood Flawless. I have another one that came out in the same release that I absolutely love, but in this shade specifically, it's just an okay palette, but I still can't get rid of it because it's a Charlotte Tilbury and I love the brand. And don't get me wrong, it's not a bad palette, but it's just not as good as I would have expected it to be. Up next is going to be a favorite collab that's no longer available. So I'm not gonna lie, I don't really buy a lot of those collab palettes with like influencers and beauty brands. I barely ever bought any, I think, maybe just two and it's been with Kathleen Light and Colourpop but other than that I don't really buy those palettes I don't know I just it's just not something that interests me uh, but whenever this was released it's not an influencer but it is a collab with Gwen Stefani and uh, Urban Decay granted I didn't buy it because it was Urban Decay and Gwen Stefani I bought it because the colors are just so beautiful this is more of like a cooler tone palette but oh my goodness for it being a more cool tone palette and me being a neutral lovers, this really blew my mind at how much I used it and how much I loved it. I still use it from time to time. I actually did a makeup look just a couple of days ago because I was pulling out this palette and I'm like, oh my goodness, I haven't used it in a long time and I realized how much I still love it. Now let's move on to my 2021 favorite. So I did post, of course, my 2021 favorite makeup and I mentioned four different palettes. So out of those four, I wanted to kind of like strip it down to two because that's still kind of like cheating. It's supposed to be one, but I'm going to go for two. So the very first one is going to be, without a doubt, the Patrick Tom. This is the Major Dimension eyeshadow palette. So I really, really love this palette. And once again, with the brownish neutrals. Neutrals are my go-to palette, my go-to eyeshadow. So this is, was no surprise. Whenever I saw it, I just knew I had to pick it up. It was such a beautiful release and I was so happy to pick it up and honestly I used it so much and I'm still using it so much. It is one of my favorites of all times but it was for sure one of my tops in last year. And going back to the whole Hollywood Flawless, I know that one of them was not in a good ranking but this one, a different shade, shade from the same collection is probably was was one of my favorites from last year and this is the uh, shade star aura so once again from the hollywood flawless collection and this is what it looks like this is the most stunning neutral wet looking eyeshadows without being of course a cream shadow it's gonna give you that beautiful radiance that beautiful bright almost wet looking lid that i just love all of the shadows are going to be the same formula, so they have that beautiful, kind of like super extra glowy goodness that I just love. So this, although it was released, I think at the very beginning of 2021, it just rapidly became one of my favorites, and it was one of my favorites of last year. This next category was a little tricky to select the palette, only because every time that I buy a palette, I make sure that I'm going to love in a way that, okay, it's the color story that I like and it's a brand that I like and, you know, it has good reviews. Very rarely I buy a palette as soon as it gets released unless it's just like I fall in love as soon as I see it. But uh, for my eyeshadow palettes, I usually wait a little bit and then purchase. 
So whenever I got this, not that I don't like the brand, but I'm just not too familiar with the brand and I don't buy a lot of things from the brand. So I think I just bought it because I wanted to place an order in the ColourPop website and I was like, ooh, what should I get? So I just got this one, honestly, because the packaging was absolutely adorable. This is a Limoncello palette and I believe this was released last year sometime. Again, I didn't buy it whenever it was released. So this is the color story, not too much like I would go for. If you take off these shades, it is going to be a beautiful neutral uh, everyday palette. So I was very pleasantly surprised whenever I opened this and I used it and I kept using it because the shadows are very beautiful. The mattes are still very pigmented and very blendable. And I like the different pops of colors. So these yellows are very stunning and then the green, the blue, it just adds a little something and I'm happy, so happy that I picked it up. So yeah, this is probably the one that I didn't expect to love as much as I actually do. Up next we have the category of the palette that sparks joy. So I really love this eyeshadow palette. It's one of the newest that I have added in my collection last year and it's just a beauty. This is going to be the Celestial Pearl, the palette of pearls by Charlotte Tilbury once again. It's just such a beautiful palette. Every time I see it, it just makes me like, kind of like giddy inside. It's so pretty. The design outside, you know, the actual box is very beautiful. The, con the component, I'm sorry. It has this beautiful pearlescent uh, white on the bottom and then it has all these beautiful stars and it's going to be rose gold across the board compared to the usual palettes that are always maroon so in general I think the palette is very beautiful on the outside but then you open it up and it's just this beautiful beautiful very uh, shiny and sparkly shadows that I also absolutely love this was one this was one of my top palette of the year for 2021 so I didn't want to include it in the other category of my favorite from 2021 because I saw this category of sparks joy and I immediately thought about my uh, star I'm sorry uh, celestial pearl if this is still available I'll leave a link down below but if you ha don't have it and it's available I would definitely recommend you pick it up although it was a limited edition I hope it's still around because it is just such a beautiful little quad. Getting closer to the end, so this next category is going to be the newest palette that was added to my collection, and that one has to be, without a doubt, the newest that I got was the Mini Crush palette. I just picked this up maybe a couple of weeks ago. This one is the uh, Natasha Denona's Valentine's release for this year. It is a very beautiful pink reddish undertone palette. I do have a first impressions on this. I'll leave it linked down below in case you're interested. So yeah, this little guy is my newest one. This last category was very hard to pick because I honestly don't remember which was the first palette that I used this year. So I have been using so much more compared to eyeshadow palettes. Uh, my little Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize that I absolutely love. So I kept using those at the beginning of the year, so I don't recall which one was exactly the first one. I recall for sure using this little guy as an emergency palette to fix the matte eyes to mesmerize for a video and for my, you know, going out in the day. I actually ended up returning those eyeshadows. I have also a video talking about those. It's gonna be in the description in the description box down below. But in that video when I were I was filming, I did not like my makeup, so I wanted to fix it. So what I did is I grabbed this little guy, the Marc Jacobs Fantasy, and then the like a more bronzy, smoky eye. So I don't remember which one was the first one that I used, but I'm gonna go for this one. That concludes our second part of the eyeshadow palette tag. I had a lot of fun getting together all these eyeshadows. It's always fun to talk about my eyeshadows and pull them out, kind of like take a look at them. I have a pending, very much needed eyeshadow declutter that I'll probably be filming sometime soon. I just never have declared eyeshadow palette in my life, which I know it sounds very, very crazy for the amount of palettes that I have. But it's getting a little out of hand and I have a lot of things that I haven't used in a long time so I kind of want to get to that pretty soon. So anyway you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!